What are the three methods a professional real estate investor is using that you are not? Hello friends, this is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto real estate agent and mortgage broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. And today we're going to talk about how to invest like a pro in 2020 in Toronto's booming real estate condo housing property market. Okay, my friends, there is a difference why professional investors are called professional and professionals and everyone else is called amateurs, okay? And there's a very clear distinction between the two and today we're going to talk about how you can invest like a pro as well and by investing like a pro i mean you think like a pro you act like a pro you sleep like a pro you eat like a pro you do everything like a pro and then you become the pro you become the professional okay it's not very difficult but it does take focus it does take dedication and you just got to be on it so let's start um, a quick introduction yossi kaplan uh, twitter.com slash yossi kaplan Everything that I post from any of my websites or my phone, anything goes right here. So please come here and follow so you get all the updates. It's just automatically funneled in here. Um, the con, the calculator is a thing that you need to know about. And the con, the calculator is a downloadable spreadsheet that I made. Put your name, put your email. I'm not a robot. Download now and the system will email you back uh, a link to that spreadsheet. So make sure you put the right email. And the spreadsheet looks like this. I reviewed, I reviewed it uh, many times in the past. There you go. I was disconnected from the internet before. Uh, but here it is. And you can compare three properties and put uh, the bedroom, the square feet, the price you paid, and the system will chew out for you the dollar per foot, your mortgage requirements, and, of course, the break-even, which is the whole holy, holy grail here, cash flow analysis. These condos will tell you how much you need to break even, what's the cost per room, all that stuff. Okay, investing like a pro. Um, youtube.com so Chelsea Kaplan thank you very much everyone for signing subscribing doing everything I really appreciate it 301 subscribers that's a milestone fantastic and you know the 2020 P condo that was a big video got a lot of hits on that um, and the reason is because once we look into 2020 you look you're looking to see that the market's really becoming very different than what it was before prices are so high up now that the car that the question of break-even is finally starting to kind of seep into the collective mind, you know? So investors were buying like just one after another after another, and I, they're not pro investors, they're professional investors. They have some money, okay? That's you, that's me, that's everyone. You wanna buy a condo, I got 50 grand, I, had, I got 100 grand, I got 200 grand. I go, I stand in the line, I find a VIP, problem agent like Yossi. Yossi, I want a condo, fill the worksheet, get your allocation, done. Um, this still keeps going and will keep going even though the prices now for pre construction in the city are 1300 1400 1500 and more a foot you see buildings are 16 18 2000 a foot um, a professional investor is investor well it's not about the price I'm going to go into the three methods in a second I'm going to show you a few things first you need to know so Toronto condos for sale dot com um, that is the site that has both all the listings it's got all the listings um, for the city and it's got all the new uh, construction now I was just on the phone with uh, tech support so he said they're gonna change that link so now this link I think includes pre-construction and under construction I think that's what it's doing now uh, okay so if you need any information about any condo let's say you want information about Monza condo just click it here for your name your email your phone number uh, the basic info will get down here I'm gonna get an email and then I'll give you a call what are you looking to invest? One, two bedrooms, what's your budget, ta, 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 and then I'll send you the information, okay? Um, that's what you need to know. Some pre-construction. Yossi.searchrealty.co. We're going to use this. So let's start right here and look at what pro investors do. So the first method I want to talk to you about investing like a pro in 2020, and I want to start with the back. So three, two, one, okay? So number three is called look under the light. When I mean look under the light, I mean you gotta, you know, there's, there's an old saying like the guy's like, I want to find the money, I want to find the money, I want to find the money, but he's not looking, you know. You gotta look, you gotta look, whether whatever you look, whatever whatever you want to find, you gotta look for it, you gotta intensely, intent, intentiously, intently look under the light. So um, go to yossi.searchread.co and start running your searches. First, The first thing to do is look under the light, look what's available, okay. Um, and you can use the filter here, and I'll show you. This is how we do it. This is exactly how we do it. Uh, we put one bath. Now, if I want to find a studio, I leave it at zero beds, okay? But I will put a minimum price to weed out all rentals that look like uh, sales, because uh, sometimes uh, the agent put the rental as a sale or parking or whatever. So I'll put 300000 for example, here. 
and then I got 595 listings in the C1 or more. Okay, and these are condos, houses. Everything in the system has at least one bath, 300,000. Look under the light. And from here, you start looking at what can you find here. And you basically start running through these listings and see what you can find, how you can use it. This is this is what means look under the light. What's existing? What can you find easily? So here is a unit for 7250 okay? But it's under the light. It's available. Now, a lot of these listings, because there's so many listings on the market, and you got to understand... Um, people freak out about how many listings are there, but remember there's 20,000 more condos every year, so the amount of listing available should grow with it, okay? Because let's say if there's only 5% uh, available and we have 100,000 condos total, that's 5,000 available. But once we double the supply of condos to 200,000, 5% becomes $10,000. Therefore, there'll be more numbers. The volume of the available units will be higher. But that makes sense because there's just more properties on. Uh, what is this one? Look at this office. Uh -huh. Wow, that's a lot of screens. Okay, let's screen here, screen here. You never know. Um, <laughs> virtual listings, right? Um, but what I mean is that you really have to look under the light. You have to see what's available. And remember, you never know why a certain seller... That's six million. I think we reviewed this one before. Why a certain seller would sell or why they're not selling or what the motives are. Just by looking at listings, it's not enough. So look under the light. Also, pick up the phone, call Yossi Kaplan and say, Yossi, or send me an email, say, Yossi, what's the deal with this uh, 290 Adelaide, the penthouse at 290 Adelaide, okay? And I can find out for you and I'll get back to you with information. Um, if you're selling and you're looking to sell and want to know how much your property is worth, no problem. Go to the home evaluation here. Uh, you'll see the search through the call slash home values estimator. Put your address here, and they ask you how many bedrooms you got here. I'll give you an example. Okay, let's uh, let's pick on an address. Let's call it. Uh, what do you want to do? Let's look at uh, Bohemian Embassy. Uh, doesn't if you have a unit number, put it in obviously, and then it's going to ask you like it's going to load the map here of the building. It's going to ask you right there. How many bedrooms you have? How many baths you have? How old is this building? You know, 2012, I think, something like that. What's the square footage? You got 879 square feet here. Uh, what, what, what do you want to do? The curious to sell? I'm thinking about selling. Okay. And then here, let's move this bobby head. <laughs> I, uh, are you looking to sell? Yeah, maybe uh, like that. And then just send it. That's it. And then just send it. I'll get the email. I'll get back to you. And that's all. Okay, um, so that that works really well. Um, you can also, if you want me to assess a property for you, even if you don't own it, I can still do it for you. You'll see um, what would that cost me? What would that, you know, what, what's that worth? Um, and, and we can do it. Uh, you can also, what's my home worth on Toronto Condos for Sale.com? It's called What's My Home Worth? It's home estimate or home value. What's my home worth? And it's, it's a very, very similar system. Show me. There's the building. Put your name. Put your email. Boom. That's it. Uh, obviously, here from this form, I'm going to ask you for maybe a bit more information because I don't know what unit you have and so on. So, if it's a condo, we need a little bit more information. If it's a house, usually we can figure it out just by extracting information that exists. But you know, look under the light means what's available, what's there, um, what am I missing? What what is like? Look for the simple stuff. Sometimes simple is best, simple is easy, and you don't have to worry so much. You know, a lot of people like, like really trying to do things really complicated and complicated things needlessly unnecessarily. There's no need for that. Look under the light, what's available. That's the first thing, although it's point number three because we're going backwards, but that's the first thing you need to remember. Just look under the light. Okay, here are my notes. Uh, number two is to access private deals. So what's a private deal? Obviously, when you when you look at... I'm gonna just, Get rid of this. Watch this. When you look under um, these systems here, you're not going to find private deals because private deals are not on the MLS system unless I manually upload them as a pocket listing. And what pocket listing means, oh, can I get a sneeze here? <laughs> but what a pocket listing means, it's a listing that is not on the MLS. So, um, on the form of the MLS, it's called exclusive. Um, we call it the agents, the realtors, we call it. Uh, pocket listing 
or, or private listing. So that's, you're not going to find it here. But there's a lot of various searches here that you can run. And this is also under the light. Price reduction is a good one. Um, price, but price reduction is still not a private listing. But if you want to do a private uh, sale, just do it here. And then you can limit it. And see if, uh, let's see Toronto 1, which is downtown west. And uh, search. And it'll show you what's available. So all these properties were recently reduced, okay? There was a price change on them. So you can look here. Now remember, anything that goes on MLS and sells, usually sells within 1% or 2% of the asking price. And the reason is, is because if it was overpriced, it will be the retail. Remember I talked to you about the retail fashion? that It'll be reduced, reduced, reduced until it sales. But the system only sees, calculates for the last number. The system calculates only for the last one. So it shows as if it sold for asking, close to asking. Okay, so, but you can see here, for example, this property was reduced from 1, 1, uh, 1 million 125,000 to 1 million 75. So it's 50,000 dollars. It's not that much. It's about 4%, but it's 50,000 dollars. Okay, um, now a smart investor will go, well, that's a kind of cute property. It's very unique, obviously. It's like I can live in a church. Um, Maybe they can reduce more. So now you start to think, like a professional investor, you know, I want to get the highest return and pay the lowest price, of course, because it's return on investment. So the return needs to be high and the investment needs to be low in order for that, that equation to result in a higher number, in a higher percentage, okay? I've done a lot of these numbers today just to talk with you. I'm not going to go into, it's Monday morning, give me a break. <laughs> But you see what I'm saying? Um, they reduce it by 50,000. Now, 50,000 from 100, from uh, 600,000 dollar units, that's 8%. But on a million, it's a lot less. So it may not hurt the owner so much. You can ask yourself, maybe they'll reduce more. How to find out? Call Yossi. I'll make the necessary calls and find out what we can do. What is the seller wanting? Okay. Um, and so this is the list of all the reduced. So here is one reduced. Uh, not a lot, $22,000, but what they've done here is smart, is they've reduced it from over a million to under a million. So anyone that searches up to 999999 will get, will see this unit. So that's what they've done here. But it's a, that's a smart way of listing. And I'm speaking as a listing agent here. You know, I sell a lot of properties. If you're looking to sell or find your value, I'll, I'll do it for you. So here's a property. It's a million bucks. It was a million twenty. Now it's a million less 2,000. King West, very nice. Okay. So these are all the reduced. And again, how did I do it? Um, you go to uh, urbanrealtytoronto.com and go to the bottom here. You got all these. I don't have a direct link to reduce. I should probably add it, but you can click any of these links here and then just uh, scroll to the bottom. Should be there. Let me show you. Oh. Click on the home. Yossi.searchwheel.co. And here they are, okay? So the reduced is uh, price reduction right there, okay? So that's a good one to do. Um, so look under the light, and, and the second is to access private deals. Now, the best private deals are not advertised. S call me, send me an email, use the contact form, and say, you'll see what do you have. I'm looking for a, a really good deal. I'm looking for something that would be really good for me. I'm looking for something that will really result in great returns. I have uh, $20,000 lying around. I wonder if I should uh, invest it or I should not. Should I buy a rental property or not? Should I do pre-construction or not? So those private deals, they're not around in the air, but they do exist. And people that are sitting on some cash can always access them. Uh, you can access, uh, there's various real estate investments. I mean, buying condos and homes, obviously number one, but you can buy into development by the way of, uh, you can buy REIT online through your bank. You can buy a stock in a real estate company, which you know I don't deal with, but it, it is an option. Um, but you can also buy a private deal. Somebody says, you know, Yossi, if you have a buyer, I want to sell it, but I don't want to sell it online. Or I don't want people walking into my unit. That, that does happen. Not often, but it does happen. Let's say somebody says, you know, I'm not using the unit so much. and I'm probably going to move to my other place. So, you know, if you get a buyer, sell it for me. So what I'll do is we'll look at the price. We'll assess the property. And then we'll do a, an exclusive, a private listing. Exclusive, not an MLS, but they do sign a listing. It's called exclusive. 
And just on the MLS one, there's two ovals at the top, M exclusive and MLS. Okay, so people get, some people get scared. They don't understand what the word means in the context of the real estate, in the context of uh, Toronto Real Estate Board. It means a private listing, a pocket listing. And that's how we do it, okay? So that's, that's a good option to do. And uh, a lot of the assignments are obviously private deals because they're really hard to find. Um, developer may sell private deal you know they maybe hold back on some units but i know them so i'll say you know i got a really good buyer he's not gonna he's really looking to buy he's a real investor uh can we find him something in developer say you know what i can release a unit for you it happens so many times um the other thing is to call me like let's say for example niagara here uh this building at the moment we don't have any more units phase three is sold out one sold out two sold out three sold out but phase four there, there will be a phase four coming up and once that phase four will come up, we'll have some units. So register here or call me. It's all good. And obviously these are gone already, but some they will be but there will be some units available. And simply put yourself on the mailing list um, and you'll find out. Okay? Put yourself on the mailing list to find out. I think that's that's a very, very good uh, way. You can go here, put me on the mailing list, go to the newsletter, put me on the mailing list, it's all good. Okay? Uh, the third, which is the first one, and that's going to maybe shock you, I hope not, but if it does, even better, because you remember for longer, is to start looking outside of the GTA. And you remember, I made a few videos, and this week I'm going to make a few more, uh, not today, um, about investing outside of GTA. So we talked about Kiwi Condos Hamilton. Uh, the problem with Kiwi is you can't sign in Toronto, you got to go to Hamilton, it's, it's a bit complicated, they're not making the process easy for investors, that's a big mistake. Uh, but Toronto Outside GTA, that's a huge video, 463 views, and I showed you the options here for investing. I was just talking, it's just a talk video, but I showed you in that video that you can actually make, you can do really, really well um, by investing outside of the GTA, okay? Because the price is so high. Now, you may not get the rent of GTA, but you're also paying less, so you get in. You can get yourself in, okay? So, um, get outside of the GTA, and I told you, Hamilton, Brantford, Guelph, Kitchener, Waterloo, those are our targets, and anything in between there, uh, those are our targets. Now, a lot of people will say, you know, maybe I'll buy myself a little condo outside of Toronto, say in Brantford. Uh, here's another, here's another one, Toronto, Hamilton, Niagara, Brantford, uh, KW. And I just talked to you about what to do and how to look for units and where are the units in these areas. Now, you got to be very cautious, of course, because, you know, Minto or Tridel is not going to give you a tiny little, uh, they're just not going to bother with a little development that costs four or five or six hundred uh, dollars a foot in Brantford. They're just not going to do it. So we're going to go with a smaller developer or a local specialized developer for the area. Um, and of course, I go there, I usually meet them in person, or they call me and we discuss the project and we see who's involved to make sure the investment can be as stable as possible, as, 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 as solid as possible. That's very, very important. Okay. Okay, so that's, uh, and, and once again, I think Brantford, uh, I'm going to release something about Brantford coming couple of days. I think it could be very, very good. I, I like it. I've been there. It's totally good. Okay, so the number one secret. Uh, is to look outside your comfort zone. When I say look outside your comfort zone, I mean look outside the GTA. What happened recently is that GTA became so expensive, so expensive. I mean, here's $27 million listings uh, with a video where I just like, show you one after another, all these expensive, uh, all the expensive ones. And they're just becoming so expensive, so it doesn't make sense for a lot of people to invest. A lot of people just can't do it. Well. But you can, you still have that $100,000 sitting in your bank account doing nothing, losing money basically. So you can think, maybe I should just invest it somewhere that I can afford something. So start looking outside of GTA. And that's to me probably going to define 2020 more than anything is investing outside of GTA. And there's a lot of options outside of GTA. But again, you have to be very, very cautious. And these are the million dollar listings. And... You know, they're really nice if you live there or if you have a lot of money to spend on these properties 
but in reality it's going to be very very difficult to find rents are going to cover for this million dollar listing especially if you use the con calculator and you can put the numbers here not today my friends uh, no numbers today <laughs> uh, I, I'll do the numbers later for myself but um, go to the con calculator and you'll get all the break-even, the maintenance fees estimate, the tax system, all that stuff. He does do it, and it's a great site. And by the way, there's home evaluation here, listing alerts, all these things. Okay, so if you want uh, to point one, listing alerts, you just hit an area like King West or whatever, and it'll give you listing alerts. Uh, but nonetheless, you want to find you want to find the private deals. You want to look under the light. Or let's start with the beginning. Number three was look under the light. And look under the light means look at things that exist. Uh, maybe you'll get a discount. There's reduced. Here's the list of all reduced. Okay, so you can access those directly online on my site. The links are already there. Um, just go to the just go to Urban Realty Toronto. Sorry, go to uh, uh, eoc.searchrealty.co, and then go to the bottom price reduction. Hit it here, and it's just done for you. Okay, and then all you gotta do is give it the area you wanna see. Okay, so if I wanna see Yorkville. I'll put C2 or C9 and see what the system finds. Should probably, oh, should probably press that button. There we go. And this way, now you can now you can see what's available. So um, that is basically going to give you Yorkville, Yorkville 2 St. Clair. So 549, 223 St. Clair Avenue, not a bad deal, okay? So 549 for a small one bedroom these days. That's decent. That is very decent, and that could be a good long-term investment. Now, obviously, the pictures don't do justice to the unit. Um, never ever take a picture with the toilet seat up. It's just awful. <laughs> and you can't really see the window. Uh, but you know, um, it it could be good. It could be good. You don't know. Um, don't judge it. You got to go in there and, and check it. Okay. And, and then you start, and then the system will obviously give you similar properties, and then you can start comparing and learn about the area and see what happens. So look under the light, okay? Number two, look for private deals. Private deals, you got to call me, my friends, but you're just not going to find them online. Um, most of these uh, listings you see on Kijiji are fake, okay? Uh, there's a lot of agents, they just, uh, they just hire someone to just put fake listings on Kijiji, and then you call them and say, oh, well, I don't really have that. Uh, I don't do it. I don't have time for this. I, that's just not my thing. Uh, I'd rather show you real stuff like here. These are real listings. There's a full disclosure, no hiding of anything. Uh, that's just how I do it, okay? Uh, now, if you click on these links and it's not available anymore, that means that it got sold or off the market. It usually got sold, okay? Uh, that's, a, that's usually a good sign. You just got to see what's going on. So, and again, you can go right here. And you're back in the main page okay and number three um, is the most important thing is look outside your comfort zone Hamilton Ontario so there's a few Hamiltons and it takes some time and you know get yourself in the car go in there um, and you know you're gonna get all kinds of stuff it's just a lot so use the filter Make sure there's at least one bath because that's going to remove a lot of the non-bath stuff. And then let's let's put a price range. Okay, so three to five hundred, at least one bath. And I asked the system to okay. So now I clicked it, and now the number is reduced. And now I can start looking at what's available. Okay, and I can start assessing properties. So learning about the properties, assessing properties. One of these properties will have to sell. One of these, we don't know which one yet, but one of these properties got to sell. One of these properties may be a much better value than the rest of them. And remember, I talked to you about the, the secret. The secret of all investing is about value. I always say it, and I'll say it again. It's all about value. Now, if you listen carefully to this video, if you made it to the end, Put 1% in the comments and I'll give you a link to some crazy search. I'll make you a special crazy search. I'll link you down below. People did it before. It's kind of fun. If you have any questions regarding real estate, uh, the best way to find them is 
in the comments because that's what I'm going to answer. You know, I get a lot of emails, people ask me questions, but there's so many emails I can answer every day and you know, if I cannot answer once or twice, but once it comes third time, so I just can't do it because my time is best spent spreading the knowledge wherever I can um, and hopefully helping as many people as I can. So that's it for today, my friends. Um, look under the light, access private deals, and look outside your comfort zone. Start researching in other places, okay? This is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Real Estate Agent, Mortgage Broker. If you want to buy, sell, invest condos in Toronto, uh, come over, treat you super nice, make sure you're covered, all is good, condo calculator. That's it, take care.